Nolajet here at Al Patron Mexican Food. Yeah. Welcome to Nolajet. Let the good times roll. In this episode of our New Orleans Food Review, we are celebrating Cinco de Mayo at El Patron Mexican Grill and Cantina for our New Orleans Best Mexican Food Review videos. El Patron is located on the west bank of the Mississippi River in the greater New Orleans area of the city of Gretna at 101 La Palco Boulevard, which is about 17 minutes and 8 miles away from the French Quarter. This New Orleans area Mexican restaurant has become noted for their more unique offerings and they feature an interesting choice of fajita and margarita options. El Patron Mexican Grill and Cantina has some nice specials with a wide range of offerings in both the food and drink categories. El Patron Mexican Grill and Cantina has a nice location in a busy part of Gretna which has made them one of the most popular Mexican restaurants in the greater New Orleans area of Gretna. And this amazing patio certainly adds to the ambiance. So this is a really large and wonderful space to hang out on when the weather is nicer outside. So you definitely can enjoy some good times out here. And they also have some live music as well sometimes. So we're going to have a great time here tonight. So we've seen the wonderful outside. Let's go ahead and head on inside and check out the inside here. So this is the main entrance here on the side, and as we look around, there's so much great outdoor space here on the side of the building. So we're meeting a group of folks in here, so we're gonna have a really fantastic New Orleans feast tonight. And they have some really unique items in here that I haven't seen in other area Mexican restaurants, and their margaritas are also very distinctive. They have some really interesting things in here. So they are definitely worthy of a visit for the unique offerings they have. And it's also just really blinged up with decorations. They do a really great job with keeping this place looking extremely festive all the time. So this is a really fun spot and hey, margarita sign right here. So we might be indulging some of that. Pancho Villa right here. So. But I hope we don't uh, get any of that. Now, the menu here is huge. There's no way we can cover all the menu in this. We're just going to start drinking margaritas right now because there's no time to even look at the menu. And I already know I'm going to get fajitas. But of course, uh, I make a mistake with my fajita ordering that you'll see here in a bit. So, I've heard they have fantastic fajitas here. It's only the second time I've ever eaten here, but we get free chips and salsa. It's always a good idea. Some other folks at the table got these enchiladas that also look great. And then there was this amazing dish I've never seen before called the Mojajete Fajita Bowl. It has chicken, steak, jumbo shrimp, chorizo, queso fresca, grilled onions, Monterey cheese, and chilies and a salsa verde sauce. And I was so sad that I didn't know about this to order it because I just got regular fajitas. So, the next time I visit here, I'm definitely trying out this wonderful fajita bowl because this thing looks amazing. But the regular fajitas look pretty amazing too. So I got the combination steak and chicken and it's a really large serving. And it came with the rice and beans and guacamole and tortillas, which were all way more than I could eat. I just ate the meat and some of the guacamole and sour cream. I don't have enough room after all this meat for the rice and beans. So I was strictly on the protein of the fajitas with a little uh, topping of some uh, salsa mixed in with a little of the sour cream of guacamole, which I think makes a pretty darn good topping there. And then all the onions and bell peppers that come with fajitas. So the chicken's got a good flavor and taste. Ooh, I do like it all mixed in together. Now let's try some of this steak. Looks like it's cooked perfectly. It's a pretty thick cut of steak, actually. And ah, I do like the flavor there. It's very nice. We're gonna try a little more of this steak. I'm liking the steak, I think, a little bit more than the chicken. The steak actually has some pretty good flavors going on. It's actually a pretty decent cut of meat that has been cooked pretty nicely. In the future, I might uh, skip the chicken and go for all steak. The chicken is good, though, definitely. The steak just has a little extra flavor. Ooh. Chicken, you know, it uh, tastes like chicken. <laughs> A little uh, guacamole and sour cream on there, though, that adds some flavor. So I've got no problem with chicken here. Got a little nice salsa on here. The chicken does have good flavor. 
just the beef seems to have a little extra punch to it. It gives a little extra flavor to it. So the uh, steak is definitely the star of the show on the beef plate, I have to say. Often uh, the chicken and the beef are both pretty darn equally good. And uh, both the chicken and the beef on here, I would say, are just uh, rather better than the overall average of the heat as I've had in other places in the city. So this uh, steak fajita is definitely, though, quite a bit above the average. Now this uh, margarita here is extra special. All these little blobs and things in there. I'm not even sure what this thing's called. I, I ordered it, I forgot what it was. I don't have a drink menu. All I know is it's got a nice mix of different flavors in here. It's very delicious. It's a very out of the ordinary margarita I've never seen anywhere else. Very interesting and very tasty. And of course, it mixes very well with these fajitas. So all of this food on this plate, big pile of meat, a margarita. Hey, what better way to have a little Cinco de Mayo fun without uh, doing anything else but enjoying yourself. And I have to say, this is a lot more fun than a year ago of Cinco de Mayo when we had to all eat outside if we got to eat anywhere at all. So even though we're still in the lockdowns in the city of New Orleans, outside the city, uh, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. It's only within the city limits of the city of New Orleans, which also encompasses the Orleans Parish uh, lines of government. So private businesses can ask and require that you wear masks inside of their places of business. But outside the city of New Orleans and Orleans Parish, there are no additional mask mandates or lockdowns that I'm aware of. So the rest of Louisiana is wide open at the moment. And El Patron here in Gretna is in Jefferson Parish, right next door to Orleans Parish. So no masks are required here anymore. It's a lot more fun, I have to say, being outside the city of New Orleans currently than being inside of it with all of the lockdowns still going on in New Orleans. While just over the parish line, we have parishes instead of counties in Louisiana, it's the land of the free again with no lockdown. So freedom is a wonderful thing. So I do love the fact that I'm able to be free once again. It's a wonderful feeling. Of course, and if you're still in those high risk categories, you should still keep wearing your mask and quarantining as you need to be and following the directions of your doctor. While the rest of the people that have had their vaccinations, been exposed to the virus, or otherwise very low risk, we're all going to be out here enjoying some wonderful Cinco de Mayo freedom. Because, hey, it is good to be out and about in a somewhat nearly normal situation again after such a long time under lockdowns. And, uh... What a delicious, wonderful way to celebrate the end of being locked down, at least when I'm able to leave the city limits of New Orleans, where I'm still living. So I totally destroyed my plate of fajitas, and the total for my bill was $33.01 before tip, and with all the margaritas I had, that's actually a pretty decent deal. So thanks so much to everybody at El Patron for a wonderful experience. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just go ahead and share this video with any of your contacts and friends, I'd really appreciate it. Comment below, let me know what you thought about this video. And while you're down there, check out the link to my Patreon account because hey, I do work for tips and I appreciate any help with that. Then just like I destroyed that plate of fajitas, Go ahead and destroy the subscribe button, which will be that little circle with my head inside of it. And then the little rectangles on each side of that circle will take you to additional NOLA Jet videos. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people.